Hey there guys and girls, so today I'm going to be showing you how to download and install ProMod 2.61 for Euro Truck Simulator 1.44. Let's get into the video. So what you need to do is go onto your Google or any website you use, type in ProMods. If you have an account, please make sure you create an account first. Or if you already got an account, just sign in as it goes. So once you've done that, you want to go up to the top left here where it says ETS2 compatibility. I do have a video on how to install ProMods. I will leave a card up at the top right hand corner uh, for the video which you can go and watch that installation there. So this is for Euro Truck Sim. So 1.44, 2.61 game version. Then you press the installation over here. Most important thing that people tend to forget to do is to generate the definition file. So please click on here. So leave all this alone. The only two things you want to tick is the map zooming compatibility and also the special transport DLC. So you just generate that and then it will come up and it will download into your downloads folder. I've already done mine, so I don't need to do that. And then you want to close off that page, come back to here and go to step two. So this is where you get your files from. There is a paid version premium, which is the download one folder at one time, which is only for 85p. I would recommend you be recommend you do this option because it's the fastest download folder and it supports pro mods as well for making for making it or if you cannot afford it there is the slow version but you have to do two files at a time there is eight altogether so it's the slow, slowest version so I always tend to do the premium and then go do it through PayPal so you can pay it through PayPal or any other payment method so once you've done yours and it will download it will take a little bit of time to download and I always, mine always goes into my downloads folder, but I drag it onto my desktop. So you got your definition file there, and then you got Pro Mods there. So what we need to do is go on to Documents, Euro Truck Simulator, and Mods. If you have the older previous version in the folder, make sure you delete them out, otherwise it might get corrupted or you, you might get confused when you go into a game. So double tap into the play mods on the desktop. You don't need to read me, so all you need to do is highlight there. So you'll have one, two, three, four, five, six files in there. And you will need the seventh one, which is the definition file. So just let that extract into there, and then we'll load up the game to show you the load order. There we go. So you can close off uh, this window now, and then you can just highlight this and just drag that in so you've got seven files there you can delete that you can delete that and now go into euro truck simulator which i'll fire up here we are in euro truck simulator let me just make sure it is euro truck sim it should be your auto sim. So what you need to do is select the profile that you are going to be using for it up at the top. Uh, so any of them two. 
any profiles up at the top, you go in and go to your mods manager. Then your pro mods will normally be up at the top. So all you do is the load order is now assets models one models two models three media map definition always goes at the top then once you have done that you will put all your mods and all your other map combinations above the definition file otherwise it won't work so pro mods have to be in the correct order so if it's your first time downloading it and installing it to Euro Truck Sim it might take a little bit of while because you're in you, you're adding in new cities, new countries, new layouts, new scenery all depends on your PC speed so let it sit to let it sit uh, for a few minutes so it will get stuck and it will get stuck on this one for a few minutes do not tab out or anything like that so let it do that So it did take me about five minutes to do as you can see so if you have got it in the correct load order in the game will just shut up and crash and then you just need to put in a correct load order so once you have done that just to confirm it's in go to map so you want to go to that was wrong button so you want to go to world map and then it will add in some new cities for you so you've got Iceland up here so pro mods has worked fantastic you got a few more countries up here and a few more countries over here you got Ireland over there and then you got a few more down here as well over here as well over there a few more up here so all you need to do is make sure you have all the map DLCs and then you can get on with it and downloading it. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Ta-ta!